So, so what I want to talk to you about today is how uh, when you tweet, when you post, when you blog, this is a revolutionary activity. This is radically changing our culture. And to talk about that, what he's doing too is great uh, as well. But I'm talking about Galileo. And imagine Galileo standing in front of the Inquisition, terrified that he's going to be burned at the stake, that his books are going to be burned, he's being tried for heresy because, you know, the monarchy and the clergy didn't just control the actions of the state, they controlled all the information, knowledge, and culture of the society. And this, these sort of things were, were radically overturned with the democratic revolutions and the enlightenment, but not totally, because for the last 150 years, to produce information, knowledge, and culture in our society, you needed enough access to capital to run a radio, a television, a newspaper, uh, which cost about as much as a factory. So before, there was a huge difference between who could produce culture in our society and everyone else who received it. And so what that meant was the major messages of our culture were coming to us passively from the television, right? And what, what does that create? That creates a society where everything is entertainment, even the important stuff, and the choices you have are the choices that are being given to you. Republican, Democrat, Coke, Pepsi, uh, it, it is disempowering, right? And so... And so this is why we have the fascination with the celebrity. This is why we have, you know, the, the ubiquitous desire to be famous, why we're, we're so obsessed with these things. But that is the fundamental cultural element that is being overturned with the Internet right now, right? Because you might not have as many people following your blog or your Twitter as the New York Times. You might not have as many people you know, watching Amherst Community Television as CNN, but it is a difference in scale, it's no longer a difference in type. And just in time, right? Because the problems that we're facing and, and the, the pace at which these problems are evolving is so dramatic that we really need uh, innovation from individuals. We really need people to be engaged uh, because this is no longer something that a professional class of world changers can handle. Um, so what we need is how do we get innovation and action from the millions? The idea is open networks, right? But, but that's very, you know, like Kiva, like uh, Wikipedia, but that's very difficult to do at the political level because uh, information is so scattered and disorganized. It's very hard to find the audience that's right for you. It's very hard to find the content uh, that you really care about for that issue. And there's also the incredible danger when you do find your audience that you can be trapped in sort of an echo bubble where you're only listening to people that you already agree with, where you're only making your case to people who already agree with you. That's a visualization of the blog links, the political blog links in the last few election cycles. Um, and so how do we create, uh, how do we create community? Because we don't have that shared experience anymore, right? So as Muhammad Yunus says, you start with what's right in front of you. The local issues, right, the roads you drive on, the schools your children go to, um, the hospitals that take care of you when you're sick, these are the issues that people care most about. They're also the issues they have the most influence on. You have more influence on your mayor than you do on the president, and you also have something where you can directly engage in the real world, right? Like what Joe's doing. Um, so so what, are the, what are the problems with that right now? Well, it's scattered and, and disorganized. It's on all sorts of different blogs and discussion forums. Even if it were centralized, you'd have to scroll through you know, 500 comments to try to find valuable information, and there's no way for you to know that it's real people participating who actually live within your community. There's no way for your uh, leaders to know that they're registered voters. So here's the localocracy, right? Here's, here's what we're doing. Um, and so this is, this is just a screenshot. Um, localocracy allows you to see here's the question uh, that your community is debating on. Here's how many people are for it, against it. Here's what they've ranked as the most valuable content, um, the most important information. This isn't about search, right? This isn't about trying to, trying to find these ideas because sometimes the ideas are still in someone's head, right? We didn't know the value of 140 characters until there was Twitter. There wasn't a place for people to post issues before. So, yeah, it's important. It's not going to be everybody in the community, right? Uh, not everyone's going to be talking about the local zoning issue with the, the high school, but it's going to be the people that care most about that issue, right? Which is very important if you're trying to do political mobilizing and you're trying to actually make things happen. Um, and there might not be a ton of interaction between the people who disagree. Uh, they might not really be talking to each other, but they're in the same space. So if you don't already have a, a strong opinion, um, you can sort of quickly see those ideas. You can get a full knowledge. And most importantly, um, as many people are accessing the web for mobile technology, we're able to handle that. Also, language using translating software is no longer an issue, right? Because you can see every issue. You can see every comment in this issue in your native language. So uh, what's this about? 
the tools we use really dramatically shape our society, and we're trying to create a tool that people can use um, that's going to empower them to be productive citizens and uh, world changers. And that's, that's what we're doing. Locallocracy.org. Local, localocracy.org. Uh, Bears and Elvis, we're going to hopefully launch in the Amherst Town Meeting uh, in January or February. Woo! So, yeah. yeah.